Hey YouTube, it's Charity and me and Eris. Um, today I'm going to show you really quickly how to create an SVG or a cut file from just a Google image. Um, so first you just start by going to Google, finding your image. This particular image today is going to be a C Seattle Seahawks. Um, cup for my cousin. Um, I'm really not a fan. I'm more of a cowboy kind of girl. This is a cowboy family, but you know, it's not for me. So you would just click on one of these images, preferably one that is a PNG. So I could do PNG, and all a PNG is is something that um does not have like a, a white box background when you click on them you typically let's see if this one works you typically oh, you typically see these little checkerboard situations now if it's already on checkerboard like this then it's probably not an actual png and will come with this background but for example let me click this next one but when it's over here it doesn't have the little squares but moving it here it does so <clears throat> this may be one that I already saved so I'm not worried about it I'm gonna go in Inkscape file what's going on with my mouse import and I think it's this one so that will go Um, okay, so this one, let's just use this one because it's simple. Import, okay, from file, blah, blah, blah. So up here, I can lock. When you want to resize, you want to be sure you keep proportion. So you lock it here. Stop that. Make it small like this. Just kind of bring it down to size. So the first thing you do is going to right click and do trace bitmap. And I like to do live preview. So it will kind of show you what's going on. I'm going to take away smooth because that kind of takes away details. I'm going to come to colors. Um, as of right now, it has eight, eight scans selected, which, okay, which is too many colors. So I'm going to take it down like two colors. It's, it's not enough. And I'm also going to click remove background. Sorry. Two colors is not enough. If you don't click remove background, it would have like, say you were using a JPEG image and not a PNG, it would come with the background, a square. So one, two, that's a little more color. So about four scans should be enough. Then click OK. And I'm going to X out of it. Okay, so you just take take this, put it on top. This is our original. As you can see, you cannot see through it. And here you can see through it. You can tell by the black line. So I'm going to come here, ungroup them because it is. Um, Click off and click on. See, it's one group, which this works perfectly for our navy, so we can keep that. Um, so it gives you basically a set of each. Now, this is a little bit more difficult to do. I'm go ahead and delete this one. Um, so I will just come to my paint bucket and with a different color. I'm gonna just use red. To get that green eye that we have here, I'm going to fill it in here. Oh, it's not trying to work for me. That's wonderful. I'm going to move it. Oh, because here, I think hue was picked instead of visible color. Which I had been messing with it, so I could see why that's a problem. So visible colors here. 
boom that's the red so that's going to be our green um also with this it's not i don't think we'll see how it works but i don't think it's going to allow me to just fill in this little gray spot yeah because for whatever reason it says area is not found it so if you try to do something and it doesn't work it'll give you an explanation right there there it is area is not bounded so I'm just gonna take this whole thing and leave it gray but I'm gonna use my eraser no big deal erase 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 yes baby I know I have to do that part. Okay. Erase, 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 erase. Then release. And it should all be gone. But because it's not um, a tight crop, lets me know there's something that I can't see that's still around. Which is making the box wider. See? No, that's fine. And it's obviously saying it's another little slither above here or something that's okay so that's perfect so yeah put that here now it's time to get to business so I can delete this one so I'll just go to file save as a PNG not an Inkscape PNG but just I'm sorry an Inkscape SVG but a plain SVG I'm going to put YouTube Hawks and just save it. So I'll let that go. Boom. I'm going to open up my Cricut app. There it is. Eris is over here falling out because we're not doing anything fun right now. She's more into the assembly. I tried to tell her that I was going to have to show you guys how to create it before we start making one. Now you need to start thinking about what kind of cup you want so that we can get it going. What a pink one. A pink one? Yeah. Okay. Is that kind of pink? Okay, machine something that you have to do typically once it um updates so new i'm gonna go to upload upload image mm, let me go to my quick access which would be what we've recently done and here it is the file you really don't have to do anything else to it so for click Continue. Don't have to change the name or anything. May have too many uh, files of it. Mm -hmm. Let's get back to the one. Okay. So it's here. Insert image, and you will see your cut files it's ready to go so yeah just ungroup it if you need to if you are one of those people who actually need to see it be the color you can change this to green so you have successfully created a PNG image be ready to cut every separate color ready to cut okay baby I know you want pink this is not for you so it's ready to go so that is how you create a quick cut file and of course if you want to make it bigger you will just maybe okay this is not yours so you this doesn't have to be pink I'm gonna go back to the beginning when it was red so yeah you can group it keep it all together to make it you know do the right thing so I'm gonna get out of this one and go to my projects because I already have one ready to go and designed how I wanted to and I'm just gonna make it replace 
So with these uh, skinny tumblers, I measured it out to be, I think about seven inches. And so I use that as my base for things, which uh, let's cancel. So I for sure want, I'm not sure how I want it to go. So I, it's fine that everything is separate. And this is it. And I'll, I, if, if necessary, I can show you how to make this shadow situation. Um, you can make it in the Inkscape as well as Photoshop. Uh, let me see how wide I made this. Which actually, I like the new one that I just imported. So I'm going to get rid of this one. It's a bit more sleek. So I'm going to insert that into this. I'm going to come here. Make it bigger. Yeah. And on color sync, without having to take anything away, I can make my, you know, get all my colors together. So this is going to be in the green. And this gray is actually going to be white for me. Um, yeah, I'm going to make this too, well, I don't want it too big, but I think, I think I want this to be two inches. Let me make this bigger so I can get to the numbers. Two inches. Okay, see how big Becky is. So yeah, I only want it to be two inches as well. Maybe five inches wide instead of four and a half. Okay, perfect. I'm gonna save it because this is what I want. Make oh, this is so different. A cloud only shirt. Sure. This is them testing out their beta. So I'm going to make it, click make, and of course I'm using 651 vinyl, I don't know why this won't, okay, it's safe, thank you, let's move on, okay, make it, and I'm going to make it, and I will show you, oh, and when you do make, you and you use 651, you don't mirror it, so everything's ready, just going to click continue, and I'll try to have Eris come back and um so yeah stay tuned for the next part